Okay, hello everybody. Yay, look at who is here. I'm so excited to have Dr. Chanel here. Oh, I got like teary eyed already. I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> I, I love her so much. Uh, she does incredible interviews. She's a light worker and um, she is a uh, naturopathic doctor, but also a ministry, right? Correct? Minister? I think we're all in service, aren't we? Yes. Yes. But not only that, that she is knowledgeable in so many different modalities, you know, she's um, working with the divine health and human body, but also like empowering global community to shift into like the, connecting to the highest truth and the highest choices. And uh, I'm just so honored to have Dr. Chanel here because I had an incredible, like a molecular meeting and alignment with her. And I just cannot wait to share the story with everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, but, uh, she is the founder of the Swift Fire International. And, you, uh, and then she teaches classes and broadcast information. She's really passionate about connecting people and then getting the health and the wellness information out there, the truth out there with the love energy and then the integrity. So I have the highest uh, respect for this lady right here. And it's always like so um energizing to me and heartwarming for me to be able to have a discussion or talk with you or even spend time with you. So thank you. Thank you so much for hopping thank on with you. me today. Thank you. Awesome. I love you so much. And yes, I mean, this is such a treat and just an honor to be with you and all your friends and all your people. And I love meeting new people. And I definitely love doing anything in a collaboration with you because you're I just your integrity, your purity, your leadership, your service to humanity. I mean, I don't I'm I was gonna say I don't know how God led you to me, but of course, just it's another miracle that we created. And I'm just happy that I get to do life with you. I'm so happy and just love you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And um, so you do a lot of a lot of interviews. I right? do. And I'm interviewed. I get interviewed and I interview. It's kind of all like yesterday. I did three interviews and I was interviewed by three people. So this oh, is wow. like fun and easy and exciting and lots of new people. And it's pretty cool. It's and pretty I cool love how yeah. we can yeah. use the Internet like this mm -hmm. to be in multiple countries and states and cities all at once in one blink and just share love everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. And you do that so if, like just uh, eloquently and effortlessly. And then I just love that how you connect to people and then creating that synergy around you that everybody just to bring in the gift that they each have. And then by you encouraging them to connect and then like we can create even more impact into the world. And that's been just incredible. But I know that when you are interviewing and maybe you are being interviewed about this too, but I figure that I need to know more about this <laughs> Yay. yes yes well um mm -hmm. do you want to tell the backstory or do you want me to tell the backstory well, how we connected yeah well, well let me tell everybody about my side of the story okay and you then go maybe first. yeah <laughs> and then maybe you can t share that your side of the story as well okay yeah okay. so first of all I saw this in a random office <laughs> And then I did, it was not even open, but I looked at this and like, oh, this is something that I want to look at. I love crystals. You can tell there's a lot of crystals back behind me. And so I was going to look this up online and then see what the card inside the card looks like. But I, I knew that I wanted it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to order this, but I need to research about this. But before I got to research about this, I was kind of like in and out, like, uh, so I didn't have a time, uh, I didn't have a chance to take time to look at this. I was rushing over to pick up my husband who was in the Bob Marshall wilderness for a long time. And he was just coming out and I was going to go pick him up 80 miles away from home. 
And I was going to camp and wait for him to come out from the rafting trip so that I can pick him up. So basically, I didn't know exactly what, where I was going to be camping, but this is in the middle of nowhere, Montana. And then there was one other person that knew who I was going to be camping in that vicinity. Uh, we found each other there camping. And then um, the, in the middle of nowhere, Montana, she brings this priority mail. <laughs> and then I was like, a, who would be sending anything to me at my previous location of a practice and blah, 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 but long story short, who would be sending this here? And then I saw the name. I don't know this lady. <laughs> and so I opened the package and I pulled this out. And then here it is. This was there driving like 60 miles down the road and on the gravel road. <laughs> and then just getting this delivered, exactly what I saw that I wanted to get faster than the internet. That's how the universe works, I think. But... <laughs> So um, I opened this and I took a picture. Oh my God, this is exactly what I was so excited that I found uh, Dr. Chanel on the, uh, Instagram and then sending out the pictures and then the um, messaging her. This was so incredible. I'm so excited. I can see this many ways of using this. I was just so in excitement. And then just got to meet her um, so, and I don't know how it came, maybe you can take on from here after how you, because we actually met even a few days later, which is incredible because we don't live in the same state. No. So can you elaborate on how it came about on your side yeah. of the story from there? Yeah, so just so you know, people, how miracles work and just how instant when you put your heart out and really seek knock on the door and there it comes but my side is I went to Montana I was in um in Kalispell and I, a dear friend of mine owns a wellness center there Jeanette is the director of the wellness center and I used to work there I, I went once a month for years and trained and taught and did retreats and conferences and worked with her when she did her juice um cleanses I would go and teach and um, had my, you know, my cards out as an ND and would do consultations and um, yeah, because I'm originally from Montana and we have plans to be back one day. And um, so I was going all the time. We have land there. My family's there. And um, anyway, um, when we were walking around, um, we went to Big Fork and we were walking around and I had, I was looking for crystals and I was going to all the crystal shops. And when I went to this one crystal shop, this lady had said, oh, are you with the Theta something healing center or whatever? And I was like, mm, no. And I didn't have any awareness of that, that I thought. And then we went somewhere else and someone said, oh, are you a student, blah, 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 from the Theta, whatever institute. I was like, I don't know what that is. And they were like, oh, it's here in Big Fork, blah, blah, blah. So that had happened a few days prior. And then I went to see Jeanette and I said, do you know who this Theta Institute, whatever thing is? And she's like, oh yeah, I have a friend there. I'll get you her card. So she gives me your card and I take the card and I'm still like thinking mentally, you know, um, this Theta thing. I, I'm, I'm, I love brainwaves. Theta is my jam. I love, you know, um, the creativity that comes with that. And I love the beach. That's where I get my theta. You know, I teach on neuroscience and quantum physics and, you know, all of this stuff. So anyway, I go home and I made a package to send to you of this. And I think I sent you my book too. Did I send, did I send no, you my I book? I don't have it yet, but I, oh my I gosh, I have to send list. you this. <laughs> I will send you this. You send yeah. me your address and I will get it to you. I thought okay. I sent the book too. So then I came home and I went to another doctor um, dealing with my health and a restored situation. And when I went to go see the doctor uh, inside of his office for the consultation part, I look and I see a book that says Theta Healing Something Something. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I remembered the book from like 2016. And I was like, oh, I know that book. I think I have it somewhere. 
and I pull it out and I start looking and I realize, wait, Theta Healing, Theta Institute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I read this book years ago, but I did not connect that this was the Theta Healing Center or whatever. I start looking through, I don't even, I still, I'm just like, okay. So I said something to the doctor and I said, hey, you remember when you showed me this book years ago? And he's like, yeah, I went and took the classes and studied. Um, and he said that he, he said that, I think he said he went to Big Fork and I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, that was, or he said he went to Montana. He didn't mm-hmm. say Big Fork. I still don't have that piece. So I was like, okay, okay. And anyway, I go home going, that's so weird because this, this keeps coming up. Right. So then um, my daughter had a baby and I was planning on going to be with her for a, a week or two to go just help. And that she, that's in Washington. And, um, my mother was going to come with me and, um, uh, it's a long thing, but anyway, so my mom ends up going to Montana instead. And I went to Washington to see my new grandbaby by myself. And when I did, I got a message from my mom about her needing to come back. And she's got some eye things going on and she wanted to know, you know, um, you know, how, how to work that out to get help with the airlines and blah, 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 blah. And, and the more I start talking to my daughter, um, her husband came home and they were going to be together to spend this new time with their baby. He's in the service. And so he was going to be there. And I wanted to give them some time, you know, just to get that equilibrium of, you know, the new schedule of, you know, mom and dad with the baby. And so I'm sitting in, um, this apartment that I was staying in and I was literally going, well, you know, I could go straight home back to Louisiana where I am right now, or maybe I could go to Montana and she was actually in Hamilton. I was like, maybe I could just go to Montana and go fly home with my mom. So she's not by herself going home. And then I thought, you know what, maybe I can even go to Big Fork and see one of my best friends and all my friends up there. And that's where like all my, all my people are. Maybe I can even sneak a day in where I go over there first and then drive and get mom. Well, I called to get a car and there was no car available in Missoula. So I was like, huh. And I called everywhere and there was no rental car. So I called Kalispell. Of course, there's all kinds of cars. So I was like, well, I guess there's no choice. I'm going to have to go to Kalispell and go that away. Um, And then, so I didn't do anything. I'm just waiting. And I I text my husband and I'm like, can you just like send out some prayers and help me choose if I'm supposed to just come, come on straight home or if it's better for me to somehow get a little more sneaky time in to go see my friends and then maybe pick up my mom and see my grandmother. And, you know, but that would be a long time being away from home. So he's like, no problem. And then I look on my phone and I look in in the messages and I see a picture that you had sent in my DM for Instagram. And it shows a picture of like the cards with a tent behind you and like in the middle of nowhere in the, like off a mountain. And you're like, Hey, thanks for this. Like, I don't remember. You said something like, I don't know who you are or whatever, but thanks for this surprise gift or something. Mm -hmm. And I totally forgot like, I, I don't, I don't even think you said surprise gift. You're like, Hey, thanks for this or whatever. And I just thought you were someone who got it in the mail, who ordered it through our website. So I was like, Oh, awesome. I'm glad you got it. You know, um, I don't remember exactly, but, but I was just like, Oh, there it is. Yes. That's where it was. And then I have the picture that I sent to you too here. Yes. Yes. And then you said something like, you that I gifted it to you and I was thinking I gifted it to you because I didn't recognize the name I didn't even look to see you didn't even say big fork or anything like that at first and I was like you know I just get a lot of I have 4,000 emails right now and (laughs) I get inundated with stuff like daily so I don't keep up with it's hard to keep up it's it's fun and easy it's fun and easy but I I need a secretary so so I was like (laughs) So I said, um, I was like, oh, okay. You know, and I said, um, I don't remember how we got to it, but I said, where are you located or whatever? And, you know, maybe we can connect sometime or whatever. And you said something like big fork. And I was like, 
what? I was like, oh my God, I'm actually thinking about going there right now. And I may be there tomorrow. Maybe we can connect. And then you were talking about how you got it. And, and I finally, rem- uh, we, we figured out like it was through the Theta Healing thing. And then I'm like, oh, Theta Healing is in Big Fork. Wow, that's right. That's the thing. And that's the same as the book. And I was, like everything finally like made sense of like all the pieces that had were sort of like glitter thrown in the air. It was like, I had all these pieces, but now it was like, I had a picture. And so we, I made the airline tickets. I talked to my husband, told him, I'm going, I'm just going to go, uh, landed and we connected and there was some stuff going on with me personally and, um, through up the leading through that. And I ended up being able to get a session. Cause you said, I'm using these sessions with my theta healing cards. That's what you had said in the thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to interview you and see how you're using them with theta healing, because I'm not familiar with what that looks like or how that works. And then I think you had said like, well, maybe we can do a session while you're here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, that would be so perfect. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. So we met up, um, I went to, you were in the middle of a training. So I met mm-hmm. you at the training and then the author of the book comes out from this classroom. I didn't know what she looked like or that she was the author of the book. And she made a jetline thing straight to me and was like, hi, how are you? You know, blah, blah, blah. And what what brings you here or whatever. And I was like, oh, I'm here with my friends. And it's just a last minute, blah, blah, blah. And then I realized, then she explains who she is. I was like, oh my gosh, I read your book several years ago. It helped was part of my healing. You know, now I'm here to get the state of thing. And it was just like, wow. And so you helped me. Um, in the session later, we did this session and ended up going to go see my mom and seeing my family members and have this amazing miracle happened with some family members that I had not been in correspondence with um, for a few years. And um, someone captured it on film because I'm telling you, it was miraculous that we would even be connected again. And when we did, my mom, I guess, actually just like took a picture. Cause I like drove in the driveway. She was waiting for me. I went straight to her. We just hugged and cried. And there was a ginormous orb, like this big, like right in front of us. It was bright, bright, bright red. I've never seen anything. I've seen a lot of orbs, but I've never seen anything that size, that, that color, that vivid. Yes, it was right like where the heart chakra is too. Mm-hmm. And we're both just like hugging each other, crying. It was my, my favorite cousin in the world. And um, I didn't know anyone was taking pictures. I was just like lost in the bliss of restoration and love. And um, someone caught, my mom caught that picture and I sent it to you. And I was like, wow, look at this. Look at, look at you helped me, you know, you helped facilitate this. And um so, yeah, but, and I've had you on my show a few times, um, since then, and I'm definitely going to have you back, but, um, <laughs> so that's kind of my side of the story and it may not be exact. I, I'm, I'm not great with every single detail, but, but it crazy? was just a miraculous and uh, the people might not realize this, this all happened in a matter of days, like three, t- three total days. Yeah. Uh, but- her contacting me, me getting there. The next day we saw each other. Then I was off and then I had a miracle. It was like, boom, 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 boom. And the entire thing for the moment that I saw this, that's entire thing is five days. I saw it and I went camping. It got delivered to me. And then also I was listening to more of the message, universe message saying that I need to go play in the woods. That's I right. need to be oh, in yeah. nature. And then I was so in the middle of busy, 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 but I created time. I, ha- I felt the calling to be in the woods. And then this happened. Oops. And then this whole thing unfolded. <laughs> nice. but, yeah. So th- this like incredible story about, I, I just didn't want to call it miracle, just uh, everything aligned for us. I don't know if it was your manifestation, manifest my manifestation or co manifestation. <sighs> It was really Wonder Twin Powers activate. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, but 
when I saw this inside, I mean, oh, wow. I have a lot of oracle cards and I love crystals and I'm constantly looking for rock cards, crystal healing cards, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I have not seen anything like it before. I was so impressed. I couldn't tell from this, you know, but the pictures are amazing. It captured the energy of the rocks and then the characteristics of the rocks so delicately so in like it's so much like I can feel the vibes from all in, like each one of pictures it's not just like a glorified version of that rock either it's just a natural state but it's captured so beautifully and then what's amazing about this card is on the back then as the card says it's the name of the crystal and yeah. it has all these properties of the uh, crystal, but not only like a spiritual, like affirmation side of it or um, uh, emotional side of it too, but then Dr. Chanel being the, uh, the naturopath as well, that it has the organs connection. So it's like really the body, mind, the spirit, everything all inclusive in that it's so concise. It's not like in reading the entire book. But, uh, and also it has a decree, like this is a Mexican opal and it says, I am ease in my body, uh, a mind, body and a spirit now. So yes. it can be like used as an affirmation card. And then what's incredible, even <laughs> it's like, it, it just says companion oils and it has like this rock. What would be compatible essential oil with all these things? So it's really like I can see so many different ways of this being utilized by so many people. You know, people might just want to study this to educate them, you know, themselves, or you can pick a card with the intention and what would be the highest and best for them or so many different like uh, possibilities. And I just got chilled just thinking about it as soon as I opened this up. Uh, I don't know if I told you this or not. I had other people that was camping with me um, and then they, they ended up pulling the card and then that turned out to be exactly the card that they needed. Somebody was having a back pain, lower back pain it was carnelian that got pulled out nice. and then it was the lower back pain that was addressed and then they it had the decree that she could focus on and the essential oils that she could use to heal and then she may have gone back to town and then purchased a carnelian just to have it with her for support for her back pain and also another uh, person was having a little bit of anxiety and then just a little bit of lung um, issues I don't remember exactly what rock it was, but it really addressed the lung and then also maybe it un uncovered uh, like a grief issues and things. And then mm -hmm. we ended up doing a session that way because this opened up a gate gateway of what might be coming up for her at that moment. And then we were able to discuss that and then go deeper into it with the theta healing session so that we could, like this actually gave a trigger or the, um, the, kind of things to look into it just it brought things in us on the surface so awesome. in that way yeah. that was really great too but but I still don't know how you came about this or like it, you probably have a lot of other people using this in the many different yes. ways so can you kind of enlighten us in terms Absolutely. of uh, yeah how you came to Absolutely. create this card <laughs> yes and thank you for sharing that because you did that's the first time I'm hearing that too mm -hmm. and I hear that so many times people all over tell me I pulled a card and it was exactly. And the reason why is energy doesn't lie. Energy is true. And it's, uh, you magnify everything to you that your body needs and requires. And it's a hundred percent accurate every time. But, um, so the reason why I even created this is, you know, we say, there are no coincidences, but uh, I made this actually for myself in the beginning because um, my background, you know, uh, ministry and um, naturopath, I've studied frequency for years and use frequency and uh, I, I specialize in aromatherapy. Um, so was doing a lot to help people um, remember any places in the body that required support through essential oils, whether it was mental, spiritual, physical, you know, all of those things for integration again. And um, 
you know, our body is 67 megahertz on a healthy day, but when we drop lower than that, then we cause problems and we can open ourselves up to dis-ease in the body. So like lavender is 98, um, helichrysum is 157, um, peppermint's 118, um, rose is 320 megahertz. What? So when, when we're having like a low day, then, uh, or, you know, whether it's something we ate bad or something we watched on TV, or you just around someone, or maybe you got a phone call that was a little low vibe. Um, those things do affect our daily. And we have to, we get to remember how to be responsible, response able for our own energy and for what we're putting out and also how we're participating with others and playing with others. And so, um, you know, I studied oils for a decade and I've traveled to 12 to I've been to 44 countries and, um, many of those places that I went were to teach and do conferences, but some of them were for research. And I went to farms and we went to like Ecuador and Oman and some of these places where frankincense is grown. And a lot of these are in Ecuador and, um, went to Canada for the Northern Lights oils and went to sandalwood farms in Hawaii, um, went to Idaho where a lot of like blue spruces and some of the grounding stuff are. So anyway, all that to say, I know aromatherapy, but just recently, probably in the last five or six years was really drawn to crystals. Now I came from like a kid who played with rocks and marbles and loved all that stuff, but then kind of got out of it and was actually told that it's wrong and bad and like, oh my God, you know, that's the devil or whatever. Just, I don't know, um, certain pockets of people um, have that mentality. And they actually kind of had that stuff about the oils too. But I was like, you know what? The truth is still the truth. So help me God. And I'm on a quest for truth. And what I learned with the crystals, as all of you know, because you do crystals, is crystals are not only in many ancient scriptures, um, and they're also used in all of the things that we have, whether it's glasses or drinking glasses or anything medical, um, iPhones, cars, all equipment. Um, crystals are amazing. And Tesla is amazing. And, and he used crystals. And crystals have been around, you know, for before we were you know they're in the ground and they're forming and they form under pressure and they're they're made um for us just like plants are made for us and the plant resin is made for us so on my quest to look for what what crystals would help with certain modalities whether it was back pain like you mentioned or lungs or mental stress or sleep or blood or kidneys um, I looked everywhere trying to find a reference where it was just an easy one place instead of having to Google everything individually and look everything up all the time. I'm like, gosh, why is there not like a book? And so I finally found a reference guide for crystals having to do with the medical, mental, um, emotional. Uh, and then I had lots of reference guides on oils, but I'm like, wow, it would be so cool if we had one book that had all of this together, like the marriage of frequencies to see like th this frequency of this oil would be good with this frequency of this crystal and how they work together. So as I had uh, my clients come in, I do a lot of uh, remote uh, consultations, just as you do. Then people will say, you know, I can scan them remote. We can see what's going on. We can send frequencies back through the, the scanner, but I also like to implement real physical things with the reports. So people have homework to do some things on their end to anchor in all the frequencies that are sent. And as you know, crystals not only hold frequency, but they record frequency. Mm -hmm. So if you use an essential oil, you're going to have to keep applying that oil every two to three hours because it will go into the bloodstream and it will pass the brain barrier and it will work with the DNA, but then you have to keep applying. But if you have oils on and you're wearing a crystal, the crystal will record mm. the essence of the oil. And so as long as you have 
Chris, this crystal recorded with whatever you're using, and this is in your pocket, which this might be a little big for a pocket, but I'm just saying, or something that's on you, a ring or something, this will actually hold the essence of its own frequency as well as the frequency that you may choose with, with any essential oil. Mm -hmm. And it also carry, it will record voice and mm -hmm. feelings and, and um, situations, uh, experiences, uh, which is why we have to clear crystals so much. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't have to clear oils, but they will actually clear themselves. As a matter of fact, if you put, if you walk through the TSA of um, an airport, it will, and you have this in your pocket, the X-ray magnitude will actually kill all the properties of the oil. Oh but in four hours, if you test it again, guess what? It resurrects back to life. To <laughs> it goes back to its frequency and to all the chemical constituents that are involved in it. That's when you have a real oil. And I very, this is very specific to a certain company. Unfortunately, there's many that have solvents and propylene glycol and things that won't do that, but this company will. Mm -hmm. And then this can record that. So why this may be dead through the airport this doesn't get cleared through the TSA. So when this is carried in your pocket, not only will it help with the EMFs of flying in the airport, but it also still carries the oils until this comes back to life. Oh, and, wow. or if you don't have your bottle, then you, you, you may have this around your neck or in your pocket or your fingers, or I wear crystals like you do, like they're <laughs> always everywhere. I have them in my pockets and my purse. And so was really working with number one crystals, um, of course, oils, but also the voice, the voice has frequency. Your voice has frequency. My voice has frequency. And part of what my scanner will do is it, um, it actually can show me where someone is by the sound of their voice. And it could show what's missing and what needs to be added or what you may have too much of just through um, the frequency of sound. Mm -hmm. And so I created decrees to work with these things too, because as we speak, then that allows the mind to focus on a specific thing um, for transmitters and um, pathways to create and new beliefs to create, but also brings down into the heart, which is emotions. So your biofield dual is, is bio means to not only radiates out, but it also magnifies back in. Now your brain radiates out more than your heart. Mm -hmm. Your heart magnifies more than your brain. So, but they work together. They both do both. And so when you have alignment with what you're thinking, what you're talking about and what you're feeling, those things have a huge impact on what you're going to get back into your world through the field. So when this is in alignment, mind, body, spirit, and this is going out as well, as these things connected to what you're choosing to manifest or create, then when that alignment is strong and it's anchored in with the physical crystals or oils, then you are gonna have some fast and amazing, happy miracles. Actually, we're gonna create either way. So we might as well create something positive instead of going into default, which sometimes our DNA, as you know, has some subconscious you know, default trauma signatures and um, theta healing helps to move those things out. Crystals help move those things out. Oils help go direct to the DNA to move those things out. You know, your beliefs and what you say, actually conscious language is very, very important for those things. So the whole orchestra of theta and oils and crystals and conscious language and paying attention to what we're thinking about and feeling all of those things truly matter, literally matter. Mm -hmm. And so um, what I did is I started to pay attention when I would say, you know, I'd look up one oil and I would say, okay, this was, this is one that I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting that would help you. And then I would look up the crystal and I started making a list going, these two work together. These two work together. These two work together. And then once one day, somebody uh, works with me, she was like, Hey, how did you know that? Where did you get that? Can you show me your list? And I was like, um, I really didn't want to show my list. Like, <laughs> well, this has been a lot of work to get this uh -huh. together. And I don't really just, you know, and then a friend of mine was like, why don't you publish it in a book? 
Mm -hmm. So we were going to go on that, on that route of doing books, which a lot of card decks do have a book. They just have the playing cards and then they have a book that's connected to it. Well, I started thinking and I know the power of the biofield and out of curiosity, this just spirit just told me, um, I'm like, okay, so I tested someone muscle testing to see what they needed. And I gave them the crystal that was required. Let's say it's turquoise. And I was like, here, you know, take that. So they took the tur turquoise, they held it and they tested strong. And I was like, awesome. And then I took it away. They tested wheat, gave it back, tested strong. And we did that little game. Well, then I gave them the card that goes with this and I handed it to them, the, the picture. And basically they tested just as strong with the card as they did with the turquoise because it was in their field. And again, this is, this was a quote accident, but it wasn't, I was at that same doctor and he basically said, I think it was a vitamin D that my body required. But when he handed me the D supplement bottle, I went weak and he was like, wait, you just tested that you needed vitamin D. And I'm like, I don't know. And so he literally went through each word on the label, test, 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 test. And when he got to the word Ecuador, I went weak. So because that one word was on the bottle, my <laughs> body was rejecting the word Ecuador. And it's because I had a near death experience there and needed wow. to move it out. Yeah. So, um, so it was, so we did, we moved it out. And also then I could finally take that vitamin D, but that stuck out to me where just words would really change up the field just by a word being on a bottle. I'm like, well, then a picture says a thousand words, mm -hmm. right? So the picture is when we started testing to see, oh my gosh, I can just make cards instead of a book because let's say, and this is the card I picked for us today, mm -hmm. Sophie Quartz, one of my favorites. Oh. So this is very grounding and has the ability to amplify itself and other crystals around it. This crystal is amazing for physical healing and transmuting all things that are not in our highest benefit. This crystal is a huge support for physical, for physical fluid regulation, EMF pollution, chemotherapy, headaches, depression, and more. The decree mm -hmm. is I am secure and grounded now and I stay companion oils, myrtle, myrtle, lemongrass, spruce, and frankincense. So let's say this is what we require today because this is what I pulled for us. So you do, I can now give this to you or carry this in my pocket instead of the actual crystal, because I got it. And I could put this in my purse for the day or on my dash in my car for the day, or if I'm pulling a card for my kid, put it in her lunchbox for the day or in her book bag or under her mattress when she's sleeping or under her pillow. And they don't even have to know that you're doing this, but a, a book might be a little thicker and heavier and more to carry around or more obvious than sticking it under a mattress or what have you. So um, same with the actual crystal, this could be, you know, dropped in a backpack, mm -hmm. but how heavy is it when you're bringing 29 crystals, which is what I was doing. My husband was like, um, can you just bring the box instead of like a thousand pounds of crystals every time we travel and teach? And I was like, oh, but I love my crystals so much. But so yeah, now I just bring my box around. And you know, what's also interesting is, you know, you get this box for what, 30 something dollars or whatever. Yeah, 35 ish, yeah. Yes. Trust me when I tell you, these are all my personal crystals. I took one for the team. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> these are my babies. Uh, I did not think or re put it through the process that when these were published, that the world would have access to my babies, mm -hmm. to my personal sweethearts that I love so much and take care of. So it's cool that. A you can carry that around and, everywhere too. Yes, yeah. yes. A piece of me and my love that's in my house now is seated throughout the world um, in that connection too. And so, um, but yeah. 
So now I carry this and many other people are carrying it and they're not having to buy thousands of dollars of crystals <laughs> like I did. Um, now you still can if you want, I choose. Um, but this this is a lot cheaper, $29, $35, whatever. It's on sale right now, but $35. Uh, yeah, this is a lot cheaper than $35,000. Definitely. <laughs> You're not going to break any. Do you want to hear something crazy? Tell so me. this morning, this was the rock that I picked, which is a Montana uh, Smoky Quartz. No, of course. And then okay. do you know what oil I'm diffusing? What? Frankincense. See, that's how Energy don't we are. <laughs> you and I are like scary i love it it's I, I was like when you were pulling that card i was like no way and then when you went to you know read the oils I'm like no way <laughs> this is how we roll me and you mm. <laughs> this is awesome yeah yeah but uh, yeah i was gonna say too like yeah and, and it, it, especially people who like a lot of people are interested in crystals right now but then to have the collection like this your personal stash it's going to be years and uh, if you could, you know, because it could be very expensive, very hard to get hold of, even if you want it. And if you have the money, some of the crystals are hard to get hold of, like Super 7. I mean, it, like, how do you find that? Like, it's really rare that you get to come across Super 7 or, you know. And, yes, and, mm -hmm. and they've come from all over the world, Spain, um, Oman, Australia, New Zealand, um, again, Hawaii, Canada, uh, the South, South America, um, yeah, Greece, Italy, England. Yeah, mm -hmm. these crystals are from literally all over and now in my home and now in many of your homes. So yeah. you get the presence of the, just the globe, the expansion of our world um, frequency. And um, I just, you know, for, for us as a collective to pray for our world and to use God's gifts for bringing the frequency higher on the collective. I mean, I just, I just love all of that. I just, after hearing what you have shared with me right now, that it really is distilling the essence and then what you came here to be doing, which we talked at the beginning too, about how you are creating the synergy of each gift combined together, bringing more of that gifts kind of expanding. And that I didn't realize how much of that element was in these cards because I it just... It. Yeah, because I was thinking like, okay, it has all the information I like and then, but I didn't really think in terms of the synergetic effect that it was creating, compensating for each other or the oils, like when it's short of something, then the rocks are kicking in to support that perspective. When the oils fall short, then the oils are supporting that. And then collectively it covers all of it. It's exactly. just such a... Um, and it just uh, really made me think like, okay, this had to be created by you because that's what you do with the people connecting and then people bringing the gifts together. And then we are all feeling better, the collective, the remembering, and then uh, and then really enhancing the gift of the each items, the each element that it has individually for us, individually for each rock. And then you are synergizing it all that together and then bringing in that gift in the magnified format to us no wonder I loved it at the first sight <laughs> just uh it, it really made sense to me now hearing you speak and explain about this yes and I do have an app too mm -hmm. you can actually get the app um let me see if I could pull it up it's cr the crystals oils decree app yeah, I got that one downloaded yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. And you just basically, it has all of them on here again. And then when you tap them, you can see the tap. Mm -hmm. And then when you click it, it has the back of the card. So, but yeah. Um, so if you mm -hmm. don't, if you just happen to not have the card deck with you, most people have the phone. So it's a way to, um, to have, Personally, I would say get both um, because the cards do have, I like tangible, touchy, you know, 
for me. But um, but some people are very digital. I don't, you know, whatever. That's I like to have it in all forms, just because the more the merrier. I like the plain part of this element of the cards because. Uh, it, you know, it diversify the way we use it. Sometime when you are card picking and then the card, like when you are shuffling the card and it just the card picks itself. And then that, I, I really believe in that meaning of that as well. Or, um, you know, you, you can have different uh, intention set or different layout to see, okay, past, now future, or, you know, different way of reading this. And you can incorporate other card reading skills into this as well. Um, you can change the intention and all that too and another part of it is somebody who thinks that the energy medicine is esoteric but they can still play with this and they can educate themselves yeah. so the people who just like geology or just like rocks and they can education um, yeah education and it doesn't doesn't have the uh, the conscious mind block because it's education here and also yeah. so much fun to be playing with kids I was guessing say kids. Kids yeah. love these cards. Oh my gosh. They love them. My um my daughter at first she was like, this is so weird. But I don't re I choose to remember where she went and her friends, they're 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 all in high school. And her friends were like, oh my gosh. And like I gave everybody cards and they were just like, oh, your mom's so cool. And she's like, oh my God. But <laughs> her friends thought it was cool because they're all they're all about it. But yeah, you can use them like flashcards to like help you know and remember because it is a little bit to remember every single oil every single crystal mm -hmm. you know um but i've had people where they did like parties and uh or the get togethers and people were like in circles or whatever and you just went around and had someone pull a card and literally 100 percent accurate every time they're like oh, you know they're just so shocked and surprised that this is exactly what's going on. And then you know that that is you confirming to yourself, witnessing to yourself of what is required and then getting that extra boost in the field to amplify because mm -hmm. the physical things just anchor the frequency that's already there. So when you have that physical card or the physical oil or the physical crystal, that's what can anchor and hold the frequencies so we can not go back and forth and in and out and miss, but to stay. And, um, but so, yeah, um, I, I just think it's such a great compliment for all the different things together to work together, but, but yeah, you can use it as a educational and you can use it as a card. I know you using you, that you are using it and data. I have some mm -hmm. massage people who will use it. Like when they come in for a massage or lymphatic, the lady will say, Hey, you know, there's a card deck over there. If you want to pick a card and they'll place the card on the table mm -hmm. as they're being worked on, um, just to help amplify that. Um, I have a chiropractor that do, does the same thing. Um, and D's definitely, uh, there's an MD that I had mentioned earlier. He loves the cards and he uses them and he has them in his practice and he actually, um, sells them. So he has them there for the, his clients to buy. So, I mean, there's no limits, even for pets, you can put it in your dog bed or your cat kennel or, you know, where your cat sleeps or, you know, their animals require it too. And plants, mm -hmm. plants, you can put the crystals underneath the plant pot. Uh, and this just came to me because I had a lady who was doing energy and she said that she would be pulling things out of people. And when she was online, she was working with these people and she was throwing out whatever was negative out like um, in her mind, she was just throwing it out the window, throwing it out the window. Well, when she went and looked a few weeks later, she realized that the plants outside of her window oh. were dying. Oh no. So all around they were fine. But in that one spot, right outside the window, the negative energy that she was throwing out was killing the plants. Oh, this wow. is how energy is. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh my gosh, we can use these crystals I mean, you put crystals in plant pots before. I know I have just to, you know, just to have a little happy family of a little extra boost, mm -hmm. but um, you can put the card underneath the plant or underneath water bottle. Mm. I, a lot of times will take like my tea or my coffee and I'll stick it on top to program my mm -hmm. water to drink. Cause, cause that's a little bit difficult to do it on top of a rock. Right. Mm -hmm. 
but mm -hmm. the cards can program yeah. the water. And they know uh, all the um, rocks are appropriate for infused in water at all. So yeah. yeah. Or you can stick it under a diffuser. So if you're mm -hmm. diffusing, you can stick it underneath like the diffuser and have that be an extra anchor of for, you're going to be sending out the oils, but also the frequency of the crystal into the atmosphere with the oils. So hold that in. I'm just so excited about the potential. It's just a, a limitless possibilities of how you can play with this. And then, uh, yeah, it's and and it's just a beautiful card to look at. <laughs> well, that's it's just what's interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's what's interesting about the difference between crystals and oils is because they say if you think an oil stinks, that means you need it, right? And, mm. and, which is like, ooh, that's so gross. It's like, oh, your body really needs it. But with crystals, it's what you're drawn to physically like when you look at, at it. So sometimes you, you can take the cards with the with the picture up to you mm -hmm. and you can like look and go that one. Um, mm -hmm. Just like when you go to the store and you're like that one. Right. Or you, you could do it with it down and you can feel you could just pay attention to when you want to stop and go, OK, stop. And then you pull that one just like you can go into a store and you can feel the pull or the energy and go, oh, that corner right there. I, I feel, you know, it's mm -hmm. just being really aware of mm -hmm. how you feel and being connected to your purpose mm -hmm. and to magnifying your purpose. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. And then building that sensitivity, you can train with the cards like this as well. So yeah, it's just uh, so much unlimited potentials. And uh, thank you for bringing this for accessible to us so that we have access to this information that you compiled together. And I know that so many people are enjoying this and then so many more will be enjoying this. And uh, thank you for sharing your insights and then all these details. And then I'm sure that after this, and then a lot of people are going to want to get more information. And so if people are looking for information about you, what you, a class, I know that it, this is not, this is only one part of what you do. Uh, there's so many things that you are doing. You are published author and you have books and all that so if people are looking for information about you where would people go to find out awesome, awesome. thank you so you can go to swiftfire.org swift as in quick fire.org not.com but .org and yes i have workshops i have memberships to um training i have um i do remote um scans biofeedback so i can scan and see what's going on diagnose as well as send back frequencies and do a consultation to tell you what things to anchor in i have five books that i've written this is my newest one the science of miracles which i'm mm -hmm. going to send you uh, <laughs> i know you. we have that thing with the Merkaba that we love that we mm -hmm. share and loving but and this is actually coming out on audio because of our last trip together Mm -hmm. Um, I, I didn't even get to tell you this, but I have had like a block in the past, um, for putting this on audio. All these people have kept saying, when is it going to be on audio? Do you have it on audio, especially for people overseas or people who are moms and they're not going to sit here and read a book, but they would do laundry and take care of the baby and listen in their earphones or something. Um, and this is, I don't know, I choose to know why there was a block, but after that session that we had mm -hmm. and then I went to see my grandmother and it was the first time I saw my grandmother in over a year because of all this like stuff going on she's in the um she's in a hospital there and we weren't able to visit so I was able to visit her and my my grandmother is legally blind um she's been blind for gosh decades and my mom is actually legally blind so um, when I was there and I got to be with her and her presence, I walked in and she was listening to audiobooks. And we, every time we came to see her every day, she would have another book in. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is something, you know, everyone's been pushing me, but I just didn't, I was such a, honestly, because my voice, I was like, oh, I don't want to be the one to narrate it, but I know it's got to be me. And I don't know what that thing was, but I was like, I don't even watch my own videos or my own shows. I just, <laughs> I do it. And I'm like, okay, good. And I don't go back. And so I went home from our meeting 
um, after our session and after that experience with my grandmother, I'm like, I have got to get this on audio for my grandmother to be able to hear my book and my voice. And I set up the session with uh, a, a book to studio here in town. And that ended up being absolutely miracles happen. I mean, people were crying. I was crying. I kept catching the producer for, through the window. And he was like a big old, you know, Louisiana boy and all just like rah, rah, rah. And he was like tears coming down and he had some miracles come out of it. And I was just like, wow, why didn't I do this before? But um, so this is coming out like in the next week or so, it Ooh. will be completely finished and that will be available on my website as well, swoofire.org. So I'm, I'm actually so proud of, the, of this last project because some of the work that we did that you helped me get through, I, I believe actually allowed me to, to step out and to, to do this thing that seemed hard, but was, wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. It was just like, <laughs> I went in there, we recorded a few times and it was over. I'm like, wow, what was that all about? But, but anyway, so the timing is now, especially with the season of that we're in on this global level, miracles are our inheritance and we are creators. And so using these tools and, and then applying some of the formulas that are in my book, you, every, all of us can have the miracles that you and I have been talking about where it was just like instant, instant, instant. And that this should be every day. This should be yeah. just normal, um, yes. not supernatural, but just normal every day. Yes. And uh, I know you experience that and, and I definitely do. And I get calls and reports from people who have read this book and will soon listen to it. And they're like, financial situations change, job situations change, partnership changes, money comes, um, you know, what sudden weight loss, cleaning up things that they couldn't before, just like your theta stuff. I mean, your, your theta healing removes anything that's been stuck. And yeah, I'm a testimony to that. And mm -hmm. if you haven't had a session with this lady, <laughs> oh my God, get a session and watch your orb show up. Oh. <laughs> You may be going home to write a book or put something on audio or doing that thing that you've been, you know, putting on the shelf all this time and, or experiencing your partnership miracle, um, like I had with my own family. And so, and then just getting off my butt and getting this on audio. I mean, I have you to thank for that. So thank you again. I, I pray that you receive the fruit of what you have sown into into my life so much and to all my people because when you came on my show I had so many people contact you and they're they're experiencing miracles too so from my whole heart I just I adore you so much thank you I love you <laughs> I'm just <Thank> so <laughs> grateful that this whole thing aligned for us and then you are such a gift to the world and then yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm just so grateful for you and grateful for you sharing all these gifts with everybody here. And uh, yeah, I love it. Yes, like, it. Yeah. I wish I could hug you. And, um, and pretty soon. <laughs> soon I will be home. And also for those of you who are on and I maybe haven't met you before, I'm very personable. So if you have connected with any of this or the website or any of the classes or anything, or you got an aha out of this beautiful conversation. I love when I get messages that just say like, Hey, you know, this is me in my face. Cause I can't see your face right now, but this is me in my face. And thanks for the interview. Or uh, this is what my aha was. I like hearing feedback on what we're doing. Um, and I love to send good vibes to the people who connect with me, just like you and I connected in real life. Sometimes mm -hmm. those things happen out of this stuff. So, and I know that you have so many connections, even overseas, and I don't speak the language, but you're going to help me with that. So I'm super, yeah, super I'm cool going to that. attempt to subtitle this in Japanese so that the people, this, this doesn't have boundary. Energy doesn't pictures. have boundary. Yeah. Pictures, pictures don't speak. have, yeah. Energy speaks. Yeah. Yes. And then it's about time that we go global with good intentions and good heart and then our soul missions. 
And I I think that's what you do, bringing out the gifts in other, you're providing so many tools and then the, you know, the bypassing the logical mind and like unlocking that inner gifts that people have. And it's, you know, it's our birthright (laughs) to really, yeah, live up to what our fullest potential is. And then you and I are both on this journey to unlocking as many of that soul, um, you know, if they are needing that little, just a micro adjustment to be in that element that they truly are, the beautiful soul that they are, that, but it's up to everybody to realize it and then awaken that inside themselves, right? And yes. just uh, hoping that with tools like this, books, um, or e- each session that we do, that we can be a part of that good move, the inner truth, the inner light, and then that we can expand even further and then we can collaborate. And then, yeah, I am just so excited. So awesome. yeah. beautiful. Love yeah. it. Thank well, you. thank you so much for this interview. And I look forward to having another conversation with you uh, either yes. on yours or mine, but yeah, I'm so grateful for you. So, we'll and I think, yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. Bless Bye. you guys. Bye everybody. Bye.